हेलो फ्रेंड्स ग्रीटिंग्स फ्रॉम प्रोफेसर एम आई व्यास आई एम एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर मिकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट गवर्नमेंट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज मोडासा फ्रेंड्स वी हैव स्टार्टेड टू लर्न द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ गैस वॉट इज गैस एंड वॉट इज वेपर दैट वी हैव सीन वॉट टील डेट वी हैव लर्न इन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ गैस लेटर्स जस्ट फ्रेश रिफ्रेश द मैटर वी हैव लर्न वॉट इज वेपर एंड वॉट इज गैस देर इज अ डिफरेंस इन अ वेपर एंड गैस वेपर डज नॉट फॉलो एनी लॉज ऑफ द गैस वेर द गैस द मैटर विच फॉलोज द गैस लॉज इज कंसिडर एज अ गैस we have also seen that how the vapor get differed from the gas in the properties of steam also then we learn here the boyle's law the charles law based on these two law further we studied combined gas law then we have learned the specific heat the specific heat for a liquid and solid there is a one specific heat where in case of gas it is the two specific heat one is the specific heat at a constant pressure is that is cp and specific heat at a constant volume that is cv we also learned the avogadro's hypothesis the gas constant with use of this we have established the relationship between the two specific heat of a gas the relationship between cp and cv then we have seen the flow processes and non flow processes in non flow processes we have learned first the constant volume process then we further learn the constant pressure process we learn the constant temperature process isothermal process and the adiabatic process today we will learn the last process under this section that is polytropic process so friends our today objective is to learn the polytropic process what is polytropic process how it get differ from the previous processes what kind of the relations of the previous processes with this polytropic processes and as usual we will establish the relationship of p v and t we will find out the work done the heat transfer change in internal energy and change in enthalpy let us see the polytropic process polytropic process so polytropic process if we draw the pv diagram the process we can show with this the process we can show on pv diagram with this suppose if the compression takes place compression takes place the process start from this point 1 and in compression volume get reduce the process end at point 2 the direction of process is from 1 to 2 and for polytropic process this is known as pv raised to n is equal to constant this is the case for a compression this is the case for compression if it is the expansion if expansion the same process on pv plane or pv diagram the process starts from this point which is called 1 and it ends over point 2 and this follow this path this is for the case of expansion where 
it also follow pv raised to n is constant this is the case when the expansion of gas takes place when the expansion of gas takes place so friends the polytopic process means when the thermodynamic process is governed by the law pv raised to n constant polytropic process pv raised to n is equal to constant when the process of the gas is governed by this law it is called polytropic process <coughs> the value of value of n generally falls that is between in the range of 1 to 1.7 the values of n is in between 1 to 1.7 and we have seen the various processes previously the constant volume process constant pressure process constant temperature process and adiabatic process those are also the special case of polytropic process all those were considered the special case of polytropic process or you can say that gas has some specific values of n which gives you the specific process we are interested here in the relationship and how the process we consider that you can see how they are related with others see in a adiabatic process in a adiabatic process we were using gamma as a symbol where it is pv raised to gamma is constant where here in polytropic process in polytropic process we are using n so the relationship in polytropic process the relation for polytropic process you have to replace gamma in the adiabatic process in adiabatic process wherever there is a gamma will be replaced by n index n so you can write down t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 raised to n minus 1 upon n you can also write down t2 upon t1 is equal to v1 upon v2 is to n minus 1 similarly you can also write down p2 upon p1 is equal to v2 upon v1 is to n so where n is the index of the process n is the index of the process in adiabatic process we derive t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 gamma minus 1 upon gamma gamma replaced by n in case of polytropic process so t2 upon t1 p2 upon p1 n minus 1 upon n similarly t2 upon t1 with the volume v1 upon v2 n minus 1 and the relationship between pressure volume 
P2 upon P1 is equal to V2 upon V1 raised to N. Now, we will see how this will work. Suppose, now if, if I take N is equal to 0, if I take n is equal to 0. So, what happen? E. If we take n is equal to 0, you can see here this here p1 upon p2 this is your p1 upon p2 is equal to v2 upon v1 here n is equal to 0 so anything x to 0 is equal to 1 so you will get p1 is equal to p2 this is your constant pressure process this is your constant pressure process now suppose if i take n is equal to 1 if I take n is equal to 1, so it is T2 upon T1 is equal to P2 upon P1 is to n minus 1 upon n. Now, when n put n is equal to 0, you will get T2 upon T1 is equal to T1, T2 upon T1 is equal to 1. n minus 1 upon n, these terms become 0. So, T2 upon T1 is equal to 1. So, T2 is equal to T1. It is constant temperature process. It is constant temperature process when n is equal to infinity when n is equal to infinity if you can put in this equation t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 infinity minus 1 upon infinity now this comes p2 upon p1 so t2 upon t1 is equal to p2 upon p1 this is your constant volume process it is constant volume process and when you take n is equal to gamma when you take n is equal to gamma you will have P2 upon P1 is equal to P2 upon P1 T2 upon T1 P2 when n is equal to let us have n is equal to gamma you can have this P2 upon P1 
is equal to v1 upon v2 whole raised to n put n is equal to gamma is equal to v1 upon v2 raised to gamma so p2 upon p1 p2 upon p1 is equal to v1 upon v2 raised to gamma this is nothing but adiabatic process this is nothing but adiabatic process so we have seen this process and if we combinedly draw the diagram you will get like this this is your pv diagram when this is here n is equal to 0 constant pressure process when here n is equal to infinity this is your constant volume process n is infinitive then this here n is equal to 1 it is your isothermal process isothermal process means temperature remains constant then further this if n is equal to 1.2 this is your polytropic process Suppose gamma is less than suppose gamma is less than this so n is gamma where value is less than 1.2 this is adiabatic so you can show this process you can further show that this process n is equal to n again this is polytropic process so now you can have an idea right from n is equal to 0 to n is equal to infinity a different non-flow process is on a PV diagram now we are interested to have the relationship here in polytropic process so as we know that the polytropic process in a gamma replaced gamma replaced by n so t1 upon t2 is equal to v2 upon v1 is to n minus 1 is equal to p1 upon p2 is to n minus 1 see gamma is replaced by n so t1 upon t2 is equal to v2 upon v1 is to n minus 1 is equal to p1 upon p2 raised to n minus 1 upon n work done work done in this process simply you replace the gamma of adiabatic process put the n work done is equal to p1 v1 minus p2 v2 gamma minus 1 instead of that n minus 1 
इज इक्वल टू एम आर टी वन माइनस टी टू अपॉन गामा माइनस वन इंस्टेड ऑफ एन माइनस वन दिस इज द वर्क डन चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी द थर्ड आस्पेक्ट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी एज वी लर्न अर्लियर यू कैन गिव दैट डेल्टा यू इज इक्वल टू एम इंटू सी वी टी टू माइनस टी वन दिस यू कैन गिव now there is the heat transfer the next we are interested what is the heat transfer in polytropic process so heat transfer in polytropic process that can by use of first law of thermodynamics what is first law of thermodynamics the heat supplied is equal to work done plus change in internal energy we know that work done is equal to this work done is equal to P one V one minus P two V two upon n minus one. Change in internal energy is equal to m C V T two minus T one. Now we have already learned in the beginning that is relating to the establishment of the relationship between P C P C V and R. Refer relationship between cp cv and r cp minus cv is equal to r so cp upon cv minus 1 is equal to r upon cv so cp minus cv is nothing but gamma CP minus CP upon CV minus one is equal to R upon CV. CP upon CV is nothing but this is gamma. So this comes gamma minus one is equal to R upon CV. So from there you can write that R upon CV is equal to gamma minus one. this we will put in this equation cv cv we will take the value from here r upon gamma minus 1 from here you can write down cv is equal to r upon gamma minus 1 this value of cv based on this relationship we got cp minus cv is equal to r cp upon cv minus 1 we have divided basically this term this equations we have divided by cv so cp upon cv cv upon cv 1 is equal to r by cv now cp upon cv is nothing but the gamma so gamma minus 1 is equal to r upon cv So R upon C V gamma minus one. From there C V is equal to R upon gamma. This value of this C V we will put in this equation P one V one minus P two V two upon n n plus one plus m into R upon gamma minus one T two minus T one. So let us write that equation. Heat supplied. Heat supplied H S. Is equal to P one V one minus P two V two upon n minus one 
plus m into cv is in place of cv now it is r minus r upon gamma minus 1 into t2 minus t1 into t2 minus t1 so here it is p1 minus v1 p2 v2 p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon n minus 1 plus m into r t2 minus m into r t1 upon gamma minus 1. You can use this here m r t2 is nothing but p2 v2 m r t1 is nothing but p1 v1. So, by putting this value p1 v1 minus p2 v2 upon n minus 1 plus p2 v2 minus p1 v1 upon gamma minus 1, taking common this p1 v1 minus p2 v2, this I have taken out common, inside it is 1 upon n minus 1 minus 1 upon gamma minus 1 <coughs> because this is p2v2 changing the p1v1 positive sign here I am introducing the minus that minus is here so p1v1 minus p2v2 into gamma minus 1 minus n plus 1 upon n minus 1 into gamma minus 1. So minus 1 plus 1 cancelled out. You can write down the change in the heat or the heat supplied delta Q is equal to P1 V1 minus P2 V2 upon n minus 1 into gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1. When we removed out, this will be cancelled out, gamma minus n, gamma minus 1, this terms gamma minus n, gamma minus 1 is here, this. And what is this? This is nothing but work done. So, you can write down the change in heat or the heat transfer or you can say the heat supplied is equal to gamma minus n upon gamma gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1 into work done this is what for polytropic process for polytropic process the change in enthalpy now the next is change in enthalpy. Change in enthalpy that delta H is equal to MCP T2 minus T1 which we have already proved in our earlier process that is already proved we have already proved so we have learned this the polytropic process now based on this let us solve one problem in polytropic process. See what is given 
फाइव के जी ऑफ गैस इज कॉम्प्रेस्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉ पी वी रेस टू वन पॉइंट थ्री इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री बार थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टू टेन बार डिटरमाइन द हीट ट्रांसफर वर्क डन चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी मोलिकुलर वेट ऑफ गैस इज थर्टी के जी पर के जी मोल स्पेसिफिक हीट सी पी इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव किलो जूल पर के जी कैलविन एज्यूम गैस इज अ परफेक्ट गैस एंड आर ओ इज इक्वल टू एट थ्री वन पॉइंट फोर एट थ्री वन फोर पॉइंट फोर जीरो जूल पर के जी मोल कैलविन वॉट इज गिवन इट इज फाइव के जी ऑफ गैस कॉम्प्रेस्ड फ्रॉम वन पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री बार टू टेन बार इनिशियल टेम्परेचर इज ऑल्सो गिवन थर्टी डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड इट फॉलोज द लॉ पी वी रेस टू वन पॉइंट थ्री इज कॉन्स्टंट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द हीट ट्रांसफर द वर्क डन चेंज इन इंटरनल एनर्जी सम ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज वैल्यू फॉर द गैस इज गिवन लेट अस सी हाउ टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम See, based on the given data, based on given data, first you find out the characteristic gas constant R is equal to R O upon m. So R O is given eight three one point. One four point four upon molecular weight is given thirty, so it is two seventy seven point one four seven joule per kg Kelvin. Now Cp minus Cv is equal to R. Cp is given one point seventy five. Cv you have to find out. R is equal to two seventy seven point one four seven this is the in joule so that you convert by ten raised to minus three that is in kilo joule you will get in in kilo joule by multiplying ten raised to minus three So you will get CV is equal to one point four seven two eight kilojoule per kg Kelvin. Now, for polytropic process, you can use T two upon T one is equal to P two. Upon P one is to n minus one upon n. By placing the value, you will get the value for T two. You will get T two is equal to five one four point twenty two. Kelvin, you will get five one four point twenty two Kelvin. Placing the value of T one, P two, and P one, which is already given in your data. So work done is equal to M R T one minus T two. Upon n minus one, if you put the values, you will get the answer of minus five eight five point five zero kilo joule. This is the work done. Heat transfer that is delta Q is equal to gamma minus n upon gamma minus one. Into work done. N is given gamma. Gamma here you have already. Cp is given. Cv you have find out by this. 
you can find out gamma is equal to cp upon cv right so gamma is equal to cp by cv you will get nearly 1.19 you will get 1.19 put this value gamma over here n is given it is gamma minus n upon gamma minus 1